What's up, Fanversation fans? I'm Katie Cullen here at Anime Expo at the Tokyo Pop booth to talk Love, Love with Kay. How are you doing today? I am doing wonderful. Thank you so much for coming by to say hi. Yeah, of course. Thank you for inviting us. <laughs> so, tell me a little bit about Love, Love. Sure. So Love Love is our romance line. Uh, we established it in 2020. Uh, we had noticed that a lot of boys love, girls love titles got pushed aside uh, and were kind of kept separate from the rest of the romance. So we wanted to form a line that had all forms of romance under one umbrella where you could just pick out whatever your favorite thing is that you want to read that day. So would you say there's a romance here for everyone then? It's definitely what we try to do. We try to have as much diversity in our titles as we can, and we try to hit a, a big age range as well. I think our titles start at about 12 plus for the romance lines, all the way up to 18 plus. Uh, and we try to make sure that we have really strong content warnings on the back of the books so that you know if there's gonna be some sexy times or if you don't need to worry about that with this title. And tell me a little more about the content warnings because that's not something everyone does. It's really important for us that when fans pick up a book that they know exactly what they're getting into so that they can know if this is something that they're interested in. Uh, for example, we have a title where a dog does die. There is some animal death in there. So we felt it was really, really important to have that warning because maybe you're not expecting that to be in your boys love title. And we want to make sure that you enjoy everything that you read. That's fair. And thank you for doing that. <laughs> you are very welcome. So. For someone who maybe is interested in looking into queer romance and has no idea where to start, what titles from Love Love would you recommend for them? So we have a lot of uh, various titles that feel a little more queer than others. Some of them are straight BL and some of them uh, I feel very much as a queer person speak to a queer experience. My personal favorite is our Not So Lonely Planet Travel Guide, uh, which is about a couple that are traveling the world and when they get back to Japan, they're gonna get married. Uh, it's lovely, it's all about the food that they eat, the people that they meet, the experiences they have along the way and about how it strengthens their bond and it's just an absolutely beautiful slice of life boys love title that I love very much. So it sounds like we have a favorite. I, I don't like to pick favorites, but I have to say, yes, it's probably that one for me. <laughs> I love all of my children equally, except this one. This one's mine. This one's the special one. Yeah, this one gets the extra candy. <laughs> Are there any titles where you're surprised at how well they did or what audience they resonated with? Absolutely. I mean, sometimes they surprise us, sometimes they absolutely don't. Uh, Fangs uh, is a vampire romance, and I mean, it's gay vampires. That, that, you know, that blows a lot of people's skirts up. Um, and, uh, you know, one of our biggest titles is still uh, one of the first titles we launched in this uh, entire line, which was Deco Boko Sugar Days, which has now had its own sequel, Deco Boko, Deco Boko Bittersweet Days, and has two ebook uh, extended stories as well. And it continues to do really well. And it absolutely blows my mind how it's still so, so, so popular with new readers. So if you're a fan of that, you are eating well. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Is there anything you would like to say to readers? Uh, I just want to say thank you so much for supporting us. The reason that we do this is for the fans. Um, you guys tell us what you want to see. You tell us when we're doing things right. You tell us when we're not doing things right. More importantly, you reach out to us and you say, hey, this title is something I'm really excited about and it's not been published in English. Can you guys release it? That helps us know what's in the market, what you guys want to see, and make sure that we're continuing to put out books that people want to read. So please keep doing that. Come chat to us. See us at a convention. Send us an email. Uh, we, just, we just want to do this to keep you guys happy. So to an extent, you take requests. We absolutely do. We can't always fulfill them, and I need to be clear with that, but um, it's really great for us to be able to look into things, and sometimes we go, oh, hey, we can license this, and then six months later, this person's like, wow, this is the book I requested, and it's very exciting. That is phenomenal. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much for talking with me today. Thank you so much for taking the time to come visit us. Yeah, of course. <laughs>